So what are you going to talk about now? I'm going to talk about patterns. Mm -hmm. Designing your own piece of land is really a daunting task, especially if you see like this giant white emptiness. Yeah. How do you start with it? It's like the novelist at the beginning. Yeah. They're terrified. Writer's okay. block. Yeah. How do you start? So the nicest thing about designing mm -hmm. is know your boundaries. So we already know our boundaries. We know already there's a house here, mm -hmm. but we know much more. We know that the north is there. Mm -hmm. We know that the sun turns around mm -hmm. and sets uh, there. And sets there. Yeah. We know the prevailing wind comes from here. Okay. We know that we have these different zones. Mm -hmm. We know, for example, there are wet zones here because we saw it. Yeah, we did, yes. Dry zone, zones uh -huh. here because we saw it. Rocky places, for example. There is a lake, maybe. So all the boundaries. On every field, there are mm. a lot of natural prohibitions. Mm -hmm. And you have to work, work with those and with around those. those. Yeah, exactly. you have to take them into account. They okay. say uh, true prohibitions make an artist, they mm -hmm. say. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so you have to work around that. But then still again, you have to find some logic in designing. Mm -hmm. If you want to design very rational and you only want to have production, you do not care about aesthetics and how you feel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's also a choice. I yep. have some clients who choose this. Then it's easy. Then you do like rows from south to north. Mm -hmm. How are these rows comprised of? In the middle of those rows you have huge trees, for example a huge apple tree, then small trees, mm -hmm. for example a small pear tree, mm -hmm. and then directly under these trees you have shrubs, and then directly under those shrubs mm -hmm. you have, for example, strawberries. So you've got your su succession there? Yeah. In that? Exactly. Yeah. You've got your levels. Exactly. And, got, yeah. and of course you need a climber. You do not need it but you can have it. Then you put it for example next to do this big one. There's for example a grape vine mm -hmm. going through climbing on this okay. apple tree. So okay. we have all these different layers. Layer one, layer two, three, yeah. four, five, mm -hmm. five layers. And then if this becomes mature. You can put logs here, have some mushrooms growing right. on those logs. Okay. And so this it really way is in constant evolution. Yeah. It's okay. So, so th these are these big trees, yeah. smaller trees, mm -hmm. the shrubs underneath, and then the strawberries. Tiny little strawberries and mushrooms. Growing here and then Eventually. mushrooms. Voila. Okay. So this okay. is like the most sure. rational yeah. thing you can do. Okay. But to be honest, you do not feel very recharged or free or, or free perhaps or yeah in rows yeah. so this way we have to look to nature and learn mm -hmm. from it this is why i have all these stuff in my hand okay for example this mm -hmm. what is it it's a black current a black current it's all these little little spheres little spheres yeah. for example you can mm -hmm. think in spheres mm. to design your property yeah. a feather uh huh how is a feather like this yeah you make can make these feathery forms okay for example you ah, can have see. have these uh, one big road and then yeah. all these tiny roads here okay it's a little bit similar to a leaf yes you have a leaf in all different shapes uh huh And also with one big path and then mm -hmm. all secondary paths. Right. And then here you can plant big trees next to this path. Okay. And smaller trees even closer. And then really close to the path, those, rasp uh, those strawberries, for example. And then between those production mm -hmm. places, even wilder trees. Right. And this way you can look that's Two fascinating. Patterns. You're mi you're mirroring nature yeah. effectively. That's really that's very beautiful and poetic, is it not? Exactly. And yeah, it, it it's it's really 
endless. You can okay. e also use symbolism, for example, a heart form. Uh -huh. How nice would it be to have like a heart form yeah. growing in your garden for mm -hmm. a pond or for something else? Yeah. Um, the same with the tree. The tree is built up of fractals. For example, this leaf, the tree, as a matter of fact, is so first one big stem mm -hmm. and then yeah, like this, one big stem that goes upwards. Mm -hmm. This could be a tree, but this also could be a leaf. Indeed. You see? Yeah. So, yeah. and these have big branches mm -hmm. and on these branches, you have smaller branches. Yes. And I'm not sure if you see it here, but there's like a s another leaf. Yep. Fractal, yep. So the a fractal. little ones within what I love fractals. Yep. Yeah, so absolutely. It's, it, it's little yep. patterns uh, expanding in bigger mm -hmm. patterns. So you can do so many things, spirals. There are, mm -hmm. it's, it's also such a beautiful form, spirals, mm -hmm. but also a maze, for example. Oh. How nice would it be to have a maze to get lost in, but with all edibles. So it's so all... So if you did get lost, you would actually not starve <laughs> to death. Is that effectively exactly. what you're saying? That's so the point of having a maze. It's a non-sadistic yeah. maze. It's a non-sadistic maze. And uh, no, that's really because um, earlier we'd spoken about how, you know, the sky's the limit in terms of the things you might want to have in it when you were asking me. And now you're effectively saying, well, also the way you landscape it, yeah. the way you design it, you have plenty of different options. You can really use your imagination. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And yeah. designing part is especially the forms you use, mm -hmm. the, the, the language you use, that's something you cannot really do with the mind. You have to do it with, with the heart. your yeah, heart, your with your instinct. intuition. Yeah. You have to walk around and feel, oh, how would it be if we use this kind mm -hmm. of shape, mm -hmm. if we use a mandala garden, for yeah. example. If you, for example, what's also nice is to have like the central place and then have those solar rays going out of it mm -hmm. and growing all kind of stuff. I saw beautiful examples of it. It's and then you need a drone again to film it all when it's finished, so you can exactly. actually so see it. That's critical. We're only uh, like yeah. using this fancy yeah. form, so afterwards yeah. we can film it with the drone and see Absolutely. and show how fancy we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's a nice thing to yeah. use it. And so the thing is, I like is, this idea of echoing nature. I think that's really lovely. Yeah, we do not have to yeah. invent new things. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. and, and and very important when you design is never use this, but use this instead. Mm -hmm. Like. There is no straight line in the universe. Mm -hmm. Everything is bended. And for the next thing, I'm just gonna ask you to follow me in the wilderness now. Okay. To try and show you and let you feel what design does to you okay. psychologically. Okay. <laughs> 